Welcome to the stash video. I'm Brioche Knitting. In this video we're going to be discussing round two of the two rounds needed in order to make the brioche stitch work its magic. So with round two we are barking, then slipping one with yarn in front, and then yarn over. So this is the shortcut yarn over for most of the round. So um, I have just ended with a burp here. You can see two stitches and a purl. I have slipped my stitch marker over and I have moved my yarn to the back so that I can begin round two. So with round two we're barking and that just means knitting two stitches together. Knitting a yarn over and a knit stitch together. And then we're positioning our yarn in front, slipping one, and this is the shortcut yarn over I talked about because we're going to yarn over and also do the bark at the same time. So this is my yarn over right here. And by doing the bark, just watch this crisscross. Just watch it right here. I'm going to bark. There's my shortcut yarn over. So it's less deliberate on round two. Move my yarn to the front, slip, and bark. There's my shortcut yarn over move my yarn to the front, slip, and bark. Move my yarn to the front, slip, and bark. So what you'll see here is my groups of three in this situation, my knit stitches are starting to uh, show up, they're nice and clear, and then my purl stitches have a bit of a piggyback on them. So because the knit stitches are clear without piggybacks, that helps us identify that we've just uh, done one of the round two pattern repeats. And then the piggyback is on the purl. So basically we're trying to go around the back of the purl and get out of the way. And that is how we do round two. <laughs> 